Hi, Christine here. Um, just thought I would kind of show a little project that I've been working on. Um, very simple and easy. I'll put links below to this particular graphic that I used. It's exact size, how it printed out. Um, I know some of us witchy folk that like to use our tarot uh, cards and stuff, you know, um, some of us also have dolls and we'd like to be able to have miniatures for the dolls. Um, I'm later going to be doing a Ouija board right now. My printer is out of ink. Um, I'm also going to be making some traveling altar boxes and stuff like that to put up on uh, Etsy for different sized dolls. But um, this is a set of tarot cards, nice and easy. I already got preliminary steps done. Now you can see how big each one is. I thought I would just give you some dolls for comparison. My Monster High ones are packed away, of course. But here's an older Barbie. So these doll, uh, the cards would be kind of large for her, but not overly so. I've seen decks about that size and proportion. And this is an older style Barbie. Um, the uh, newer style Barbie, this one isn't as new, but you can see the size is about the same. And... Um, so Monster High, it's going to be a little bit bigger yet. This is an old witch Barbie, by the way, and that is the original one. Um, Wonder Woman was a bit taller, but not much. So still in proportion for her. This is the old 12-inch Wonder Woman doll, by the way. I'm going to be restoring her and making her into a Greek goddess. And then if you're into the 16-inch fashion dolls, I don't know about other ball-jointed this is Elowen Wild, so the cards will be like more of a playing card deck for Elowen than they would be for the Barbie dolls. They're actually more tarot card size for the Barbie dolls, but um, it'll still work for Elowen. Uh, it's just a, actually probably more of a natural size deck for her. If you look at the size of her hand, it's not that bad. So this, the graphic I link below will fit with any of these. Um, and I think it'll do just fine for Monster High as well. So what I did, and I ran out of color, but I thought this blue printout actually worked quite well too, so I started backing this down. And what I, the only thing I've used for this is, of course, the printer paper to print the stuff on. Um, cardstock, this is a thinner cardstock. You can use thicker, but as you can see with just a few layers, this is pretty sturdy. And you do want to keep things in proportion to the size of the doll. So I used the thinner cardstock. This has only had one layer of Mod Podge put down on it. And that was to glue. I went and spread it out underneath. And then I set the paper down on it and took my hand and used it as a burnisher. And just went across like this to get all the air bubbles out. And I let it dry for 24 hours before I begin on the next part of the project. Um, the next part, of course, once I had it glued down, was to do a layer of Mod Podge over top. And here's your Mod Podge. It is water-based. Um, it's you. You can use it as a puzzle sealant. You can use it as whatever. Now today I'm going to be just showing you. I had after I had done the top layer of Mod Podge. I went and cut out the entire stock of the cards. And the reason why you don't want to cut each individual card yet is because you're going to have to flip it over and Mod Podge the back. Now you have two ways of doing this. I'm going to leave it plain red, um, in part because my printer is shot. Um, all my cartridges are dead, I'm not kidding. Um, you can go and get another graphic of just a repeating design. You want a repeating design like you have with a regular set of tarot cards. Because when you're using tarot, you don't want to be able to see the back, you know, have determine the card uh, by its back. You know, all the backs are going to have the same pattern. For example, on the Visconti tarot, every card has exactly the same pattern on the back. So what you can do is if you have your standard Windows graphics, you know, like what you would normally use for your background graphics if you didn't have fancy pictures, uh, the stuff that comes directly with Windows, or you can find um, graphics online that have a repeating pattern. Um, some of them will be proper to size. 
Your other possibility, of course, is to use a Photoshop or um, Windows Paint or something like that and shrink it down and, you know, resize the whole graphic for your back. You may have to print it out a couple times to get the exact size you want, but you want really small repeating pattern all the way across. Very tiny because the cards themselves are tiny. So what you would do then is once you have that printed out, put your Mod Podge down, make sure that you have something underneath to protect your table. Put your Mod Podge down, then take that tiny little graphic and again, just glue it on the back here with the Mod Podge, let it cure for 24 hours. So say this is covered with a graphic, which like I said, I'm leaving these cards red because I don't mind. Um, <laughs> this was a good brush. Uh, one little thing about Mod Podge that I did not consider is that it's glue. <laughs> so I uh, decimated one of my painting brushes using Mod Podge. Um, even though I washed it with soap and water afterward, uh, just something to keep in mind, don't use a fancy brush. Uh, not if you want to use that brush for painting anymore. Uh, also, uh, it did leave a nice texture on this brush. I broke it apart. I washed it several times. And so the brush is actually, because it's a little stiffer now, is leaving a very nice texture on the cards. I don't think you can, well, you can kind of see it as the light reflects off of it. And you know, some of the tarot cards actually have a little bit of a texture. Now my Mod Podge bottle is about several years old. I just never used it until this year. Nice thing about the product is it thins with water and it is water washable. So all you're going to do, even if it is thicker, this still will work. As you can see, there's some thick areas in it. Now, after I get done, because the edges of the backs of the other cards that are unfinished, you can see where I've, I've dumped some glue there. I'm just going to leave that sitting up. I'm going to pull this one, of course, right off of there immediately because I don't want it glued to the back of the other set of cards. So, um, you know, this is basically all you're doing. And you can do more than one layer. Um, Mod Podge, of course, will thicken up. It's going to thicken up the card stock. There will be a little bit of a curl, but that's okay because afterward, you're going to go along the lines and just cut all the cards out. And, um, you know, you can kind of make a little uh, uh, paper envelope out of origami paper, something like that, or work on making little miniature bags or, you know, buy a little coin purse or something for Barbie and keep the tarot's in there. But um, I'm probably going to make a box, not sure. The other thing I'm going to do with this, after this layer dries, I'm going to mix some Mod Podge with some extremely fine glitter um, because the back of this card is red. I'm going to be using this very, very fine silver glitter. This is part of my face painting material, but the glitter is super duper fine. Um, they have a red one too, so I might use that instead, but I'm going to mix a little container of Mod Podge mixed with this and dust it over again on the back only just to kind of give it a little extra something. But um, that's basically it. And some of the things, of course, you can do uh, after you're done uh, getting the glue, glue to dry is when you cut the cards out, you could very carefully with a toothpick um, and a little bit of glitter and glue go around the edges of the cards if you wanted to. You don't have to. Um, but you see, it looks white right now. This is all going to dry clear. It's going to be a really nice shellac when it's done. And as you can see, I removed it from the back of that. I'm just going to flip this upside down to let it dry. Because this doesn't matter anyway. This is all going to be cut off and nobody's going to notice or care. Especially when you cut the cards out. So that's about it. And you, of course, you got to see some more of my doll collection that I have. And, um, well, I had to show you. I went and got the little blind bags of the My Little Pony, and I got Twilight, and I got this, I can't remember his name now, but he's just really super bright and cute. And I want to make a bracelet or something out of him because he's just cool. I don't know. 
but yeah so that's it for tonight um well actually i got a couple more things to show you we got some new stuff we're going to be working with with our chain mail and uh we got some gorgeous gorgeous pieces that troy's flipping out over we have got glow in the dark plastic scales aluminum scales we have got um wood etched skulls um now let me set this down here because I want to show you the crap. Yeah, I'll have to redo that anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, I got it on there. Woohoo! Boy, Troy's going to be happy with me. Well, that'll just peel right off, fortunately. But I wanted to show you guys this awesome pentacle design that we just got. It is super cool, and he can't wait to mess around with the chain mail on this it's just it's faceted it's gorgeous i might confiscate one i don't know yet <laughs> it helps that it's under my business until we get married and then we get to move everything together but yeah and there's the phoenix design so yeah we got all sorts of new stuff to play with so anyway that's it um bright blessings i hope everybody has a great night blessed be